Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Sherry Unshrunken. And I thought I'd have a little bit of a spiritual snack with you right now. I really need it, I don't know about you. But I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about haters. I don't care how long I have to deal with them, I never get used to it. And I don't know about you, but if you're out here really trying to live your best life and do everything that you were meant to do and just focus on yourself and running your race and doing what God put you here to do, you've probably had to deal with your fair share of haters, just like I have. And I don't care, like I said, I don't care how long you have to deal with it, it never gets any easier. You know what I mean, you're out here running your race, working hard, busting your butt, you know, on your grind, trying to make things happen, you know, just try and make some strides. And you would think that people would be happy for you, but that is exactly what's not going to happen. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, she had a bad day. She's not feeling good, you know. And I am. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have, I did have a really bad day, okay? Let's just say it. I had a bad day. I, I got my feelings hurt. I got really, really ticked off by some haters out in the world today. Yes, I did. So I'm feeling a little salty and I'm, I'm feeling a little, you know, I'm feeling, I'm in my feelings right now. But that's not the only reason I'm saying this to you. I'm not just saying this to be negative. I'm saying I want you to understand that when you're out here doing your thing and really living your best life and doing what God put you here to do and being your best self, people are not going to be happy for you. But I'm not saying that because I'm trying to be negative. I want you to be prepared because 95% of the people in your life will not be happy for you. 95% of the people in your life will actually be angry. They'll actually hate on you. They'll actually have an attitude. They'll be pissed off. They'll treat you some type of way. They'll make you want to feel, they'll try to make you feel belittled and like you're doing something wrong. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to be prepared because it hurts a whole lot more when you get sucker punched when you're not prepared for it. I was out in the world today just focused on being me, just being Sherry, just trying to be my best self. Then what do you know, out of the blue, here we go, here come the haters trying to tear me down for just being me. Why do we have to be this way to each other? I always get so pissed off initially and I think, God, why did you put me in this situation? What did I do? I'm just trying to do me. When I think about all the reasons why God could have put me in a situation like this, I always think, is he wanting me to feel like he feels about me? What do I mean by that? Well. God wants me to be a more forgiving, loving, compassionate person, just like he is with me. So he puts me in these situations to make me a better, stronger person. Now it doesn't feel that way when you're in these situations. Well, most of the time for me, I just want to get at somebody and rip out their hair and curse them out and all that, all that stuff. But typically what I do is I try to go in the bathroom or I try to go someplace and pull myself together. I say a prayer and I talk to God and I want to know, Lord, what is it you want me to learn from this circumstance? Just like in the Bible when Hannah, remember Samuel the prophet, Samuel's mom? She was married and back in those days, remember, you could have two and three wives. Well, her husband, who loved her very much, also had a wife. This other wife had baby after baby after baby. But Hannah, she was barren, it seemed, and she couldn't have any kids. And this other wife, she taunted her and teased her and made her feel like crap. This broke her heart because back in those days, a woman's value and her worth was strongly connected to her childbearing and how many children she could have, particularly sons. And when Hannah couldn't have any kids, it, she was broke, she was heartbroken. So God purposely put her into this situation so that she could have the desire, the desire inside of her would grow more and more and more. And how was that desire gonna be growing? Because her hater taunted her and pushed her and pushed her and made her feel every day stronger and stronger and more passionate about having a baby. And God put her in that situation purposely. And what happened? Her strong, fervent, faithful prayers brought forth the son that she always wanted, the prophet Samuel. I love what the Apostle Paul said. Basically his philosophy was, I don't have time to worry about haters. I have a job to do. 
I'm on my grind. I got things I have to do. I can't focus on them because I'm too busy focused on my path and what's ahead of me, not what they're doing. If there's one thing I've learned about haters is that haters will always be in your life. Haters are people that have anger towards you because you're trying to be your best self and live your best life. And haters are afraid or hindered in some way to break out of their box and do the same thing. They'd rather spend their energy hating you than using that energy to become their best self. But what I've learned is to take the energy that they give off and use it as fuel for my fire to become my best self. And I really believe that God puts us in these situations to do just that. So my spiritual snack for you today is to take the hate that others give and use it to become your best self. That's what I'm going to do. Be your best self. Love your haters.